Grade 3, it's time to turn your wildlife drawings into wildlife prints. You've got the drawings in your sketchbook. You might want to outline them with marker because you're going to have to trace them onto this piece of paper and you want to be able to see the lines. Make sure that you trace your animal plus the four patterns that you designed for the background. Okay, now you're ready for the next step. Take your piece of foam, make sure your name is on the back. You don't want to be drawing on top of your name. You're going to take the drawing that you just traced, place it carefully on the foam. Then use a little piece of tape to tape down both ends. You don't want the paper slipping or sliding while you trace. You're going to use a pencil that's not too sharp and you're going to hold the pencil on a bit of an angle so that it doesn't get stuck and tear the paper. You need to press pretty hard. Even then you might need to trace it one more time after you've taken the paper off if the lines aren't deep enough. You want to really be able to feel those lines when you run your fingers across the foam. Okay, now that your printing plate's ready, let's see what else we need. We need a bench hook, we need a brayer, which is a type of roller, and we of course need some printing ink. Okay, it's time to get to work. Your bench hook is hooked to the edge of the table and you're going to take some printing ink and put it in the center of the bench hook. Then you're going to use your brayer and you're going to roll that through the ink. Now you want to make sure that the entire surface of the brayer gets covered in ink. You want to know something weird? I love that squishy noise that the ink makes while you're doing this. Oh, can you do me one favor though? When you're done, can you place the brayer like this with a handle on the newspaper? I think you guys can probably figure out why. All right, so you're gonna roll the ink now across your printing plate. You wanna make sure this is nice and even and you get right into the corners. You might need to do it in a couple of different directions just to make sure you've got it. See those white lines? That's where you trace with the pencil. All right, so you've got your printing plate and your clean printing paper. You're gonna very gently place your printing plate in the center of the paper, give it a nice little push, and then I always put like a clean paper or a newspaper over top and use a clean brayer to roll over your printing plate. You wanna again make sure that you get right into the corners and that you um, do it evenly. Okay, are you ready? Let's see what we've got. Very carefully peel the printing plate over and you've got one pink elephant. Okay, now this is a little bit weird, but trust me, it'll all work out. I'm gonna ask you to cut the animal out of your printing plate. Make sure you've made several prints before you do this. So very carefully cut the elephant or whatever animal you made out. This is why I told you to keep it kind of simple because it's, it's a lot easier to cut out that way. Once you've got your animal cut out, it's time to ink up your brayer again and roll it over top of your animal. You have to be a little bit gentle this time. It's not quite as easy because you've got nothing to hold on to. Once that's done, you're gonna carefully pick it up and place it in the center of one of your prints. Make sure that it's a different color and that you line it up with the actual animal on the paper. Gently, gently, gently push it down. And then once again, you're gonna take a newspaper and a clean brayer and roll over top of it, making sure that you get all the edges and all the little bits and pieces of it. Okay, now it's time to very carefully peel that foam off of your print. And there we go, voila, the pink elephant is now purple. Okay, now you might be using different colors than I am, but this is exactly the same technique, no matter what colors you're using. And no matter what, I'm pretty sure they're gonna turn out to be spectacular. <laughs>